Hey everybody, my name is Michael Lee, and I want to show you how to uh, set something up between Logic and Sibelius that causes them to synchronize together using Rewire. This is a really, really useful process, especially if you're doing any kind of arranging where you have an audio side and you have a, a notation side, and you want to be able to work with both of them integrated. Um, so I'm, I'm starting a project here, and I've I got my audio file in here, and I've got it beat mapped out so that all the bars and beats are lining up inside of Logic the way that I want them to. And uh, the first thing I need to do is I need to go into Logic and turn on Rewire. I'm going to do that by going to the Preferences, Audio, and here under Devices, you'll see that there's a setting for Rewire Behavior. And by default, this is set to Off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset it to live mode. I'll apply the changes. And then uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and quit out of logic at this point. Yes, I'll save. And then I'm going to launch Sibelius. And as this comes up here, so you can see in Sibelius, I've already started on uh, the arrangement of the project, but I want to come up here to where it says play, and I'm going to click on performance. And here under rewire, I want to make sure that it's set to tempo track. And what this is going to do is rewire is going to synchronize tempos between logic, which will be the host, and then uh, uh, Sibelius, which will slave to logic. And that way, uh, bars and beats and tempo will stay consistent between the two. I'm going to hit OK. And then here's the weird thing. I'm going to I'm going to quit out of Sibelius because I need to launch the host first. Now that I have both of them set up the way that I want them to go, I'm going to start by launching Logic as the host. I'm going to uh, open up the mixer and I'm going to create a new auxiliary channel strip. And I'm going to set the input to that strip to Sibelius. Now, the, if, if you don't have rewire enabled, this won't show up as an option. But once you do, when you select Sibelius, as the input for the aux channel strip, uh, it tells Logic to function as the rewire host for Sibelius. And the audio from Sibelius will now channel into this aux strip in Logic. Once I've done that, I can launch Sibelius. And now Sibelius will, will launch in rewire mode knowing that it needs to slave to Logic. And if I did that all correctly, I can come over here and I can open up the transport. And I should see the rewire symbol right there showing me that Sibelius is now synchronized to Logic. OK, here's why this is, this is uh, really cool. I can come here in Logic, and I can go to any position in the song. And I can hit play. <laughs> And you can see it took me right to that exact spot inside of Sibelius. And it'll work the other way around, too. If I'm working through a section in Sibelius, I can hit play inside Sibelius. And it will automatically synchronize and play back that section in Logic also. Uh, this is a really, really efficient way to work. It's, it's, uh, it saves a bunch of time. One really uh, uh, kind of a frustrating thing that you should be aware of is the keypad in Sibelius is a float window, which means uh, if the keypad is open, anytime you hit stop, no matter which program you have on top, it will snap Sibelius back to the top. The way to solve that is if that's an issue, if you want to stay working in Logic for a while, is just to close that. And then whichever program you have on top will stay on top the whole time. Uh, I use this uh, a couple of different ways in arranging. Uh, first of all, it's, it's a great way if you're doing a takedown uh, to synchronize between the two. But then also, if you're doing anything where you're doing notation in Sibelius and then recording stuff back into Logic. So for example, if you're recording vocal demos, well, you can record into Logic but you can have Sibelius up, and it'll automatically keep track with you where you are in the piece. 
Uh, really, it's a really useful way to work. Hopefully this works for you and best of luck with whatever you're working on.